second confirmation hearing, Henry Titano brought up the big guns from family like his father-in-law and mother. Henry is a, he's an out-of-the-box thinker. Managing Gita requires this type of leadership. I know that if Henry is given the opportunity to lead Gita, he will. Henry is a person that is very aggressive, and if he, want, if he has intention to do something, he will do it the right way. To colleagues in the private and public sector. To me, we have not done our job properly if we don't bring young people like Henry into our government to help run it. He has the integrity to do it. The Gita administrator position is one of the most vital positions within all of Gulf Guam. I know that for a fact. It's tailor-made for a man like Henry. To close friends like Bank of Guam President and CEO and former Senator Lou Leon Guerrero. He is smart, he is resourceful, and when he knows he is right, he will find the means to get to the end of that journey. Despite the overwhelming show of support, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz once again stressed concern over Titano's character and his business dealings with a restaurant when he was in his 20s. He presented documents that did not match comments Titano made in April. And I'm just asking, and if the person is not honest to me and I don't feel the character is correct, is honest, should I or can I, with the documentation that I have before yes. me, and the fact that he will not own up to the fact that these documents were doctored at a later date. What, he, is the, what is the character and what should I say? Perez, who says she has been a loyal member of the Democratic Party of Guam and has supported almost all of the senators on the panel, in particular the Democrats, was upset her son was being treated with such disrespect. As a parent to hear that your son is being mention or discredit, I sure don't appreciate that. The same with former Senator Leon Guerrero, who has known the nominee since he was in grade school. She says she spoke with him on the matter, ultimately telling the vice speaker that if the documents in question are such a compelling concern, then vote your conscience. If you look at the whole picture of Henry, his experience, his education, his work, and so forth, I don't believe, I don't believe it's that compelling, and I would vote for his favor. Because the bottom line, if you look at it, all these documents also say, Mr. Vice Speaker, that as of today, he is no longer a member of that company. After an hour of testimony, Titano addressed lawmakers calling the appointment and reappointment an honor. I love this island. I love our people and I want to do what I can to help our community become an even greater place to live. And while his integrity and honor have come into question based off certain documents, Titano clarified that he does not own or have any interest in such business. He added, just like Vice Speaker Cruz who had once been criticized during a confirmation years ago, he too had hoped to be given the opportunity to serve the people of Guam. And all, all I'm asking, sir, is I'm asking for that same consideration. I did not lie to you. I did not doctor any documents, and I know this isn't a court of law, but if it was, I would be innocent until proven guilty. And I just ask, sir, that you uh, consider that and, and take my word for it that uh, I plan on executing the authority of the administrator with great honor, with great respect. Meanwhile, Committee Chairman Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. says he intends to move Titano's confirmation up for a vote at the next session on June 17th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.